my name is Chris Harrison. I'm a photographer and I'm originally from Jara, uh, Jaru on uh, Tyneside. I've just always been fascinated by, you know, stories that don't seem to be told by other people that I have some kind of intimate knowledge of. When I was a little lad, my dad was amazing, you know. Uh, when I got to be a teenager, I, I kind of um, went through a bit of a phase where it was kind of hard work uh, for both of us, I think. You know, I've kind of come to a, a better understanding of my dad and the pressure he was under when he was at work um, as I've gotten older. You know, when you're eight, everything's great, you know. Dads are amazing people, if you're lucky, you know. Um, I was lucky, I've got a, my dad was amazing. As I've gotten older, I've just realized that he was under an awful lot of pressure uh, because of the job. As an eight year old, I kind of, you know, the, the stories my dad used to tell about like, you know, gold, you know, gold prospecting, prospecting on the Klondike and, you know, being on a pirate ship and stuff, you know, he seemed to know about, about all that. And I, I kind of assumed that's what he did for a living, you know. Um, and then, you know, gradually it seeped through that he went to work in a factory. And I was always fascinated by this, this, this place he went to every day, this, this factory. I got on thinking about it, and somehow that, with thinking about my dad and industry and stuff, kind of came together, and I suddenly thought, what if I could go and photograph the machine and, and really, really photograph, you know, all the bits of it? And then I was uh, lucky enough to be made the fellow in Bradford uh, on with that project as, me, as my idea. The actual fact of it is uh, kind of interesting to me that that, that, that suddenly being in, in the same room as it and, and getting that sense of the scale and the, the sense of the weight. I mean, it's not something you want to have, you know, go wrong on you. I suddenly realised how vulnerable he was as a bloke when he was with this machine. You know, you're, you're flesh and blood and then you're pitted up against something which is completely unyielding. I've been trying to get that across in the photography, that, that sense of the mass of the thing. So I kind of uh, was interested in the way that industry has either been romanticised in, in an odd kind of way, that the act of actually doing a job has been romanticised, uh, that somehow it's very romantic to work in a coal mine, or, or it's just been completely forgotten about and everyone just assumes that everything's made in China. I'm just interested in the whole question of, of you know, industry and, and how it's just kind of forgotten about. I think anyone who grew up in a, a house where a, a dad worked in a factory will kind of understand what I'm talking about. And then for those that don't, it'll give them a, a kind of sense of what it's like to grow up in that kind of house, you know, away from the heroic worker image that um, we kind of go between in this country. We had a lot of laughs. There was a lot of fun things happened. I think he's uh, quite chuffed that I'm, that I'm doing this, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm just racking my brains to think of something I can do with my mother now, otherwise I'll know will be put out of joint. 